Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Drendel from uh, HighSchoolFishingCentral.com and YouTube channel. I'm with Frank Hyla, and 2020 was a very, very goofy year. And he's going to talk about how COVID has affected the not just Shimano. He, he is the national youth director for Shimano. But he's going to talk about the whole fishing industry and how things have been affected. So, Frank, welcome. Hi, it, it has been an incredible, crazy year. <clears throat> I guess I'd take one step back. Uh, the way they measure how many people are fishing is by fishing license sales. And for years and years and years before this and before high school fishing, those numbers declined every year because most fishermen were guys like me. They were older, and as they died off, nobody replaced them. High school fishing completely changed that. I mean, I think at the average uh, license sale uh, for quite a few years were people between the ages of 16 and 21, greatest thing in the world. And now we're to present day where COVID came and uh, people, I guess, decided not to fly away on vacations, uh, not to go on long trips. And for us and for everybody else involved in the industry, they decided to go fishing. Uh, fishing license sales state to state, I think I heard the average number of increase was like 84%. There are some states that, some states that were as high as 150% higher than they had ever been before. And a crazy thing was now it wasn't just the high school fishing or fishermen. It was moms and dads were fishing also, grandpa and grandma, you know, little brothers and sisters. So what it did was, you know, fishing companies like Shimano and all the others, uh, they have a lot of high price guys that figure all this data of how many products they're going to need that each year. And it just blew those numbers up. I mean, companies are seeing sales increases of, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent, and it's all due to COVID. There, if, if any of you watching have been in your local tackle store or a Bass Pro or a Cabela's or Sportsman's Warehouse, any of those, you probably notice the shelves are pretty bare. Yep. And that's because guys are out there and going fishing. You know, even myself, I wasn't able to always get to go to the lake I want but I've discovered new ponds, subdivision ponds in the neighborhood. And with my nephew, have hit them a ton of times. It's, it's, it's actually really good. And I don't think those numbers will stay that crazy, but we gathered a bunch of new fishermen into the sport and that's just good for all of us. So I know, I know uh, being a coach of a high school team, um, a lot of my kids on the team weren't able to buy things. They, they wanted to, um, mm -hmm. Now, now that we're videotaping this on December 30th of 2020, but by the time this comes out, we'll be into January or February. Um, but again, I had parents contacting me. They wanted to buy their son on my team a, a rod and reel combo for Christmas, and they just couldn't find any. So when do you predict that things will get back to normal as far as the inventory for, for not just Shimano, but all, all other... <clears throat> We are luckier than most, uh, Shimano that is, is luckier than most because we build our own product. There's actually, uh, most of the companies in the industry have companies overseas that builds things for them. And uh, they are now waiting, they're like in a group because there might be six or seven real companies being made at the same place. Uh, so it's gonna be a little while uh, with Shimano, I can tell you, because I see those reports, we're starting to get gear now. In, in fact, it's not that we're not making it. It's just that they fill the orders to all the tackle stores first. So as quick as it's coming in, it's going right back out. And the tackle stores are hearing everything that you and I are talking about. You know, mom and dad is looking for a rod and reel. So they're trying to get as much as they can. So we're filling them up. Uh, but I'm confident after the first of the year, January, February, uh, really you'll be able to find a lot of the things you're looking for. Uh, and I should tell you that 
you know, like I said, I'm talking about buying through the varsity program. But if you go to an independent tackle dealer, there are quite a few of them that also do discounts for student anglers. Uh, if you're really in a bind and don't want to wait anymore, you might want to try that way. But anyway, I'm thinking it's just probably another month or two till you can get what you want. Well, that's good news for all the uh, fishermen. And you mentioned the varsity program, so let's just highlight that. And I'll put a link down below uh, for you at home watching this to access it. But um, why don't you just give us a real quick uh, explanation of what that is? <laughs> Hold on. This is a bigger one, but we give out these varsity cards. It has a website to go to, and then along with a code. So you go to that website, put in the code. It brings you to a new website where all the products are li listed and already are shown at discounted prices. Uh, so you go on there. Uh, and the way I told you, we, we get product every day. There's a chance that a real you you're looking for might be available tomorrow. It's, you just kind of got to hit it at the right time. Uh, these cards will work till you make a purchase with them. As soon as you log in and check out with an item, that it's a one-time code. The code is no good. You need a new one. And in that case, you'd have to contact your coach, your tournament organizer, or get straight with me, and we could supply you with, with another one. Uh, these codes are intended to be for students, you know, junior high school, college anglers. Uh, we're not looking to take sales away from our dealers, you know, so we're hoping parents still continue to support their local dealer. Uh, but it's just a way we can help the next generation of anglers. And uh, we, we hope to keep them fishing so when they're adults, you know, then maybe they'll remember who helped them out. So, so if you're a coach of a fishing team watching this, or you're a student, um, click on the link below, and that'll get uh, information for your coach to maybe get these cards for the entire team. Would would be the hope. Um, maybe sure. a, if you guys fish tournaments, uh, maybe the tournament director uh, where you're fishing the tournament will have some of these codes that they can give out as well. So. Uh, basically, just click on the link below and ask around. So the good news is it looks like the fishing industry should be starting to level up back out. At least Shimano should be because you're producing your right. own products. Um, I, I know you can't predict for all the other companies when they'll have full, um, you know, their full line of equipment out and ready to go again. But it does look like 2021 is they're going to be more prepared and, and ready for us fishermen. So everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.